As I go down to Tara Market, Tara Market for to fee, I fell in with the wealthy farmer, the barn yard to till good tea. You know, the wolf all the time before all that. Oh, what a wonderful day to be alive, you know. I was not very good at the. Well, Scapa Shane Thieves from Hang for the Hang, my dear Fa. We end a road to go hang it to Tom, the Fad, my year of shit, Tom, a road hay in this moon on the Lazilla. He was kind of the famous one in the family before anything else happened, you know. Tom loved acting. Uh, acting was his first love, and he said that. Um, and he was an actor before the singing. He had this huge energy and enthusiasm. But superstars here, it's not shaskably, I put them down. I guess we actually the chuck the ball, and it's <laughs> rich. I guess we can share with all her the clancies are home. We, we owed him so much, really. I could never repay him, you know, that's the truth. And every time I'm waiting to go on stage, I always think of him, because that was when he would be ready to explode. The Tom Clancy, a Hokora and Shosarain, Marvold and Grupa and the Clancy brothers. We call either nation to or her. Aksawalia vi ahana agomsa er tam mar real to Hollywood. A vi le fekal gerilta er chlaracha telefisha er nos Charlie's Angels, The Incredible Hulk, Little House on the Prairie, agus Starsky and Hutch. Kien sa istine bahe, fahaksha an stacha. My parents had 11 children. Uh, there was two died. My eldest sister, May, died when she was 22. And then there was a little baby girl, um, Lally. My father used to refer to her as little Lally. She died when she was two. So when I was growing up, there were nine of us in it. Two sets of twins on that now. We weren't well off, and there was a big crowd of us in it. So there must have been hard times. But you kind of forget those, and you remember the happy times. <laughs> Near Anchester School, Rowada, Ach be Hulma Wahara Raw, Gersna, the Daunta August, the Drami Bioga Vieja Shul, a school again, Shinan Tenro the Warner School, the V Grev on a Cree site. Tom left school as early as he possibly could because he hated it. In fact, I never remember him doing homework or any study at home except his English poetry. It's kind of like um, Mark Twain's thing about don't ever let school interfere with your education. You know, Tom was self-educated, as Paddy was. They were both great readers mm -hmm. and uh, loved most of the classics and had their favourites. And then would discuss, you know, Tom, particularly with Shakespeare, Tom loved Shakespeare. And every once in a while, you'd find him reading a Shakespeare play on a plane or something like that. There's not many people you see doing that on a plane, you know. What sort of a personality did your mother have? Did she have the, the singing, the, the, all the songs? Very much the singing, but still she was, uh, she was terribly shy. She never would have gone on stage or anything like that. But my father was a great man to perform a poem or sing, you know, even though he had never been on the stage in his life. But he'd stand up in front of the fireplace when we'd be having a little do, and he'd act out his song or his poem, you know? Dear Paddy, I guess uh, Bobby, I guess Liam is talking about the other car on a hair of honey shit. Now, when you listen to a dolly and shake on near the shin in an horse, I've been been a red sheet hain, Marvian Space, a gaher, a gaher in a clancy's in in uh, Kyol drama, I guess drama, I guess Lev, I guess Shakespeare, I guess Lev. Near a dog, Tom and Skull, who is she a gobber, my friend Tishach Bakera. Ach leg she a nuachtan grev kolach da storachta eg lorigastori agus dimig she lo. Tom gavis dom an kerd din a chuigav stache sa chlan sa dinge agus di she gastoracht an sa hanerin fe chuigav America nacher. I got a job with Jeffrey K. 
Kendall and his Shakespeare Anna International Company. I don't believe it. And, your man? Uh, <laughs> at the Theatre Royal in Waterford. What was your best Shakespearean role? I, I, I really don't know. One of the things I loved doing was that there were so many parts that I could do in Hamlet. And I do Francisco, and then I go Polonius. Up, and I get back. I, I was doing uh, uh, the Churlish Priest and the Gravedigger, which was a neat trick because they were both in the same scene. <laughs> <laughs> As the Gravedigger would finish, hey, pickaxe and the spade, a spade, do the whole scene. I get out of the grave under the stage, come back up with the cloak on. Our obsequies have been as far in love as <laughs> the He does it well, doesn't he? Yep. But I remember that he was singing with Sean Healy's band in the Foresters Hall, and the windows would be open in the summer's nights, and people would stand around listening to the music. I was with my mother and my aunt Kathleen, and we went down to hear him singing, and I can still remember what he was singing. It was a song called Yours, which was a famous uh, song of Vera Lynn's. You know, it was a big hit during the Second World War. Yours till the stars lose their glory. Yours till the birds fail to see. We were very well, we could Tom Petty and his father, Sassness and R.A.F. My pillow, we should my pillow, Tom. You don't have to the of Tom. He did about six crossings of the English Channel on D-Day, bringing over troops. He was a navigator in the RAF. He was a non-commissioned officer. And he was there for three years, nine months and 11 days. I know that off by heart because he used to tell me that, you know. The unfault of living in I'm sure of The valley met Bawar Hill in Tarigid, and on RAF. I think it probably gave them confidence and they, it also made them more adventurous. Like they wanted to get out and see the world when they came back after that, you know, and then took off for the States. Oh, my name is Penny Larry and I come from Tipperary. <laughs> In Nua Aurach, Vitam Posta, Agus Clown Air, Ken Aranshid La Kela Er Fagivad, A Husigna Draharacha, Ekana Igart, Marvana Kyol, in Enach Latami Makem, in Greenwich Village. Maradaron Auron, via the O Gagasamadach, Agus Vidish Egolis Egragaracht Gach Iha, when she'd called down the Mach, Teresh Toive Veher Show Telefisha Ed Sullivan. Anna, kind of on Kedor or Volta Latam. Is the Heinlem Vimer, he's them, Bir Pope Yagoing, his son Sosa Hoinga, Agus Vimer, his son Heimpel, Yerry Heimpel Sheska Tree, Vimer Og, Agasem. On a slow more shack, Chola Gasagar on the Echta Gasivian on the Clancy's and the Dubliners. Another word of Peggy Jordan, Mary Gordon. Slow more on Agus, um, was near the Kana Agus, Schlepp Agus. We might have a Kaik, Kaik could have been the Clancy brothers at our son. We the Vascad or Gomorish, the few on the hair screen, Sonish, we bought the call, we bought the Gilliam Agus, Hedy Shamach Agus. We <laughs> Agus na Clancy's and so can Agus na son can make it all. An atmosphere of the own. We don't do the stuff with the letters. God, we miss us. Oh, we miss all old now. We miss a colleague on parade. I know it's your Agus na Clancy's. Agus here, man, she can make it all. Agus, 
Ich habe das so aus. Ja, wir haben auch schon wieder eine, wieder Mure in Orsan. Aber das ist speziell, dass ich schon jetzt so weit, ja, ich habe es angelaufen, ich habe es so weit, ja, kann, kann, äh, an der Oskar, an der Wall, ja, an der Schau. Aber das ist schon, an der Jocker ist doch ein Riev. Nicht, nicht, nicht Mona, dass ich mache es da schon in Carnegie Hall für euch, nach aus <laughs> Church in Dublin town, and on it put a steeple. Tell me, way all away, well all away, Joe. No way all away, we're bound for better weather. Tell me, way all away, well all away, Joe. <laughs> South Australia, I was born, he's away, all the way. South Australia, round Cape Horn, we're bound for South Australia. All of your eyes should move around the gig and out. In town, it's a looking shilish, I was in a fashion to know red haired Mary, I think. And how around some my own and and talk on the week course of Dangan and Tank here, I was a fair, I was a filly. Keep your hands off Red Haired Mary, you know. Keep your hands off Red Haired Mary, or an I will soon be well. We'll meet the priest this very morning, and tonight we'll lie in a married bed. And mush in the hand, she's going to Keep your hands off Red Haired Mary, or an it's kind of a man, Kedo or Vulmer, let Tom, um, Vimer, eh, eh, and Sosserine, Vimer, Arke Helvik, August Vina, Draharaka, Galer, Own, August Avida, Egg Dolomach, Egg Eastcroft, Aaron Viga. On your son, you see, we're bought, we bought, we have, you know, this trust of Dolomach, Eastcroft. So, for all the time, Dolly Eastcroft, I guess, um, we join Homer Shiskadi and Kayak, we are. John, she's been killed. I'm very dull on this. We don't go on. We're not doing the gym anymore. So, how do we make it? It's a vow. It's kind of just my hell of a lot. How do I say it's kindish? Big John, how's how does that feel, John? Has never been kind. August Vichy, a great affiliate. August Sam Dort Melish will have no good air. Over Dylan Thomas. August V Una air. August has never been a great over Dylan Thomas. Mae'r fwyl dan ydych chi'n ni ysgol ddod o'ch yn ei dol am. Sia, ie. Hyd chi'n ddod o'ch. Hyd chi'n ddod o'ch. Sia, ie. Ond i'n ddod o'ch yn ei hanson pair. Cé gur ebh sé tar éis búla le John agus son a sásta in a hail prívádach fan ámsa. Chin sé Airi as an rúpa agus díru go chomlán ar an éisteoracht in Hollywood. I was delighted for him that he did go back to acting because I knew that was where his heart was. Tom's first job after quitting drinking was Eugene O'Neill for Channel 13 in New York City. He uh, then the Moon for the Misbegotten came along, and that was. That was such an important show. It was the toast of Broadway. So that ran to packed houses for nine months. And then at the end of its run, it went to Los Angeles, to the Amundsen Theatre. And it was, it, was, it was a great vehicle for him. I was very happy when I was in the group. 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 
And did he miss music then when he sort of had to relinquish that, that fame and that constant touring? In Hollywood, you'd have to decide, am I going to take my chances and get cast in something or commit to something a year in advance? But you had to do that and decide what you were going to do. But you couldn't renege on contracts. You couldn't ever do that because if you did, you wouldn't stay in the business very long. And Tom was in the business a long, long time. Oh, I remember when we left the, when we left the, the group uh, in 1970, when we left the Clancy's, I remember we went to see this new movie that had come out. It was called Killer Elite with James Caan. So me and Eddie, that's us going to see the Killer Elite. And the first thing we saw was this guy lifting the phone. And the minute I saw the ring, I said, that's Tom. I knew the ring, you know, because this ring, it was everywhere, you know, he wore it all the time. That's Tom's ring. And, of course, the phone comes up and he's got a white pipe and he's talking. He's the head of the CIA in the movie. I said, ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I was, we were, we were really in awe of me and Eddie, you know, it was great. And was he good? He was brilliant, yeah. Fiché Gobberlet, Robert Shaw, jean Viev Bougeau, James Earl Jones, Augustine Marchin in San Scanol Universal uh, on Swashbuckler. Scanol Pirate, if that is. Johnny's gone to high low. My Johnny's gone. We should see real time, Maria, hey, hey, and cat, but for all the shit in each. And on Vacha do a and tell a fish or say a little house in the prairie, you know, the incredible hulk. It's kinda me a little house in the prairie should do but not now lagum now his and my she's now the honey my time a little house in the prairie in Nura Vima Rogue. The the scenes in um, Little House on the Prairie and the Incredible Hulk and all of those ones, do they do credit to him as an actor, do you think? They do because it's a collective medium. Filming and television is such a collective medium and you have to be able to hit the spots and everything like that. And yes, they, they do. And he was very proud of those roles. And they're very popular roles as well. I'm going to tell you how I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you how I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you how I'm going to tell you. Come by the hills to the land. In 1977, uh, Paddy and, and Tom and Bobby uh, wanted to reform the group, but Liam was off working with Tommy Makem and doing very well, so he wasn't inclined to, to uh, let go of that and go back with the group. So they asked me, would I do a tour with them? We, we toured maybe three, four times a year at most, usually just for a few weeks at a time. But that went on for 19 years, which is a long time. We mahu lord or a bunch of galer ding to. I guess she couldn't boo of you. Near near all the whole girl or a cut show or bun. Rod Woodmoor of our vanish and cleansy is now one of the tang of Essen Rod of your shoulder called. I guess Hanika Hanya Shin. Thinking to visit Dari Mariola Nahora, I guess one of the hand thing of us. He was always the one who was worried. He'd always make you rehearse a little bit more than you wanted to. And he was the one who would make sure you kept everything fresh. And uh, that was his domain out on the stage. And, you know, if he was, if we were going to be out there with him, we had to follow his rules, you know. The really special thing, you know, Tom, is that she could have got a Yates, or knows the host of the air, no piece of Finnegan's Wake could have got a Joyce. I mean, Tom Clancy the the Finnegan's Wake a raw marquid than show of your car for them down. When Tom went on stage, it was he lived the songs, you know. He didn't just sing them, you know. But when Tom was saying, "I wish I was," and he'd take a pause in Carrick Fergus, and he'd feel it, you know, and he'd shake his hands. Only for night in Bally Grand. And he'd mean every bit of hair would be standing on the backs of his arms. He didn't mean it that much, you know. He would insist that you keep the song fresh and sing it as if you're singing it for the first time, even if you'd done it a thousand times before. And that's not an easy thing to do. But with his theatrical background, every time he would play a role, he'd have to kind of re-find the role again to do it again, you know. So he brought that same kind of sensibility to the performance of the songs. Just 
spri in addition to how August took a shot and she's interested. I remember we were in Canada and it was the first time the Dubliners had come over. And the Dubliners were really hot stuff at the time now. They were tearing the world apart, you know. And I remember Eddie coming into the dressing room and saying, Jesus, the boys are going to be brilliant. I don't know how the lads are going to follow the Dubliners. I mean, the Dubliners are really hot, you know. And I said to Eddie, the lads are good. They know what they're doing, you know. And it was brilliant. So the Dubliners were on and Tom came in to, over to me and Tom says to me, have you got your, your whistle, your flute? I said, yeah. And he put a black sweater on him. I remember this. The, the day, the, and he had his iron sweater in his hand, which you couldn't see it, you know. He just had this black, and all you saw on stage was his head. And he did this wonderful, amazing poem, you know. And you could feel the rush of cold air coming through the people, you know. And I played the boatman behind him, right? In a very quiet corner, you know, without the mic. And the whole place just erupted, you know. And it was like the Dubliners had never been on stage. <laughs> A castigoig, sail nis na durha, nis kuna a vehege, Agus vog an clown, a rash kudian rhin. Agus andoil at Gareshe son a sauce, nor a vogder a rash kudian rhin, nor a hogri other shears and so galan imshra. O yelling Garevach, river son you see Vidish Kartafag Blienta Vachsa, you took his Gachsaura. She be him tolling, you know, Dimit Hartaman, Hollywood, Ham Clancy, Tarto Hollywood, no, thought to all, like Dimit Hartu Hollywood, Kudian rhin. Agasem, Kurdish not, you know, big, big, so it's atmosphere on top and so hypel. The can agas kachrod agas ne don tei. Hanishit galera wali gadi an rain an doila garada reg ol as an tober tober nangail tober an kiol no efal fuishev on rule abulas na start enta. Well, it's not a garavan dar or the gish thing. The we 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 ha fuishev ve ko agas an son. We called tour Heimpel and saw a rear door when he showed him our own yacht because few other sources. No, Shanoran only class to be in his machine there. Get a dare sail, Tom, the V and Swimness show. As a rain, I guess, but Borod Borish in Le John, I guess, Lishna, no posh tea, Lisha Glown, Lisha Spacia, Vegas and Nadur, I guess, a gorsy spirit of the. Agus vi almige, agus spasige, as suinusige, agus a sucrahe, son art all in shin, in a kind of farige, sarain. Come by the hills to the land. Vishes son of Sasta, so while yes, no desha, er fai couple blian. Near if she akshaska she, nor a direct she tine. Willa or fasig by his shin, da clown, dar no. Ah, well, it was very sad. I mean, it, we, we knew, you know, he didn't have long left, but um, we were going to, go in, going to go in there, as, as Liam and Bobby and I went down, we, went, we were going to go in kind of upbeat, and, and, uh, but he totally upstages us on that. We walk in, he's sitting up in the bed, and he starts singing, Brennan on the moor, Brennan on the moor. You know, he just, like, he, he wasn't going to lie there looking miserable when we came along, you know. <laughs> It's stuck like a hitch and the dinner clear a honey. Not a few of one, and a co. Force talking dean and she's talking so talking she's she's a fearing her old time of the slim. Stuck talking to the stack. But I'm not shocked and talking to the naked stack. I don't know it. The fall of the freest and old having. Oh, was no freest. Ní críos náos sáos. Ma bhúr an trúa, gar galéar chun lúach mar vechánach id le tautako, das na dín óg anis, nor amed is haimpal agus iad, da lal anis. Na da hugal ar sort féin vunín doing, nasam. Sing na curigás a bhíin ar gónaí ins na balta bioga. Achar fut na hirn, a frad, agus na na gael har lár, hugadar, hugadar an an fein vunin agus mortas kine, sha special to doing, eganam agus masam gal lánan sha shen. Tom's enduring legacy will be his work with the Clancy brothers and the Clancy brothers and Tommy Makem, and all its forms of the Clancy brothers. And I, I just Tom loved life, you know. He he loved life. He loved literature. He loved nature. Uh, a lot of 
things I, I love myself, you know. So I feel a real kind of, maybe it's in the genes or something, but uh, I still feel a real closeness to him, you know. The one thing I always, will always remember about Tom was the big, big smile. And he used to smile with his eyes as well, you know, and he had that big, big, gorgeous smile. I will arise and go now for always, night and day. I hear lake waters lapping with low sounds by the shore. When I stand on the roadway or on the pavement's grey, I hear it in the deep heart's core. Come by the hills to the land where fancy is free, and stand where the peaks meet the sky and the locks meet the sea. 